Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some delicious pork chile verde with potatoes, also known as carne de puerco and salsa verde con papas. It's a delicious popular dish that you can find in almost any Mexican restaurant or taqueria around the country. And I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. So I'm going to start out by roasting my peppers and my tomatillos. I have four Anaheim peppers and I have removed the seeds and the veins from the inside. It's just a lot less trouble once you clean them out. And I also have two serrano peppers and one jalapeno. And I have four tomatillos. So let's go to the stove and start roasting these. So I'm gonna start by roasting my Anaheim peppers right here. Just like that. And over here on this other side, I'm gonna roast my tomatillos. I have cut them in half. I just think it's easier to roast like that. And I'm gonna place them right here on my hot comal. And I'm also gonna put my two serrano peppers and my jalapeno. I'm gonna give them just a little bit of time and then I'll be flipping them around until these get real black and charred. Now you don't wanna burn your tomatillos, you just wanna give them a nice color on them. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. See, that's exactly how we want them to look. And now I'm gonna remove my Anaheim peppers and I'm gonna put them in this plastic Ziploc bag. Now Anaheim peppers are known to have very tough skin, so you always wanna make sure that you get them real nice and roasted. See, here they are. So now let's get going to the blender. So I've given my peppers a few minutes so they could steam. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the charred skin. Now when you get them real nice and roasted, it usually comes off real easy, just like this, see? Now that's one of the advantages of removing the seeds and the veins before you roast them. You won't have to hassle with all the mess, see? You might find a seed or two in here, but usually they're very nice and clean, just like that. And it's just less work. So I have removed the charred skin off my Anaheim peppers, and I chopped this little bit up, as you can see, and I'm gonna hold it and set it aside until I use it a little later. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Anaheim peppers into the blender. And I'm gonna put all my tomatillos in there. Got my jalapeno, I have removed the stems, and also my serrano peppers. I have a bunch of cilantro, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there, just like that. And I've got some chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and add some chicken broth in here so that I can blend it really well, and that's good. If I need a little more broth, I'll add a little bit more. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it there until I need it. I'm gonna grind my spices. I have half a teaspoon of whole cumin and half a teaspoon of peppercorn. Now whenever you prepare this dish, you wanna try your best to have fresh spices because it'll give it that beautiful, delicious, authentic taste. Now along with my cumin and my peppercorns, I have six whole cloves. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there. And I have one teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna put that in. And I'm gonna put in some salt, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm gonna grind these up really good. So I have all my spices nice and ground. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit out, like this. And I'm gonna set it aside. That's gonna be for my meat. I have four garlic cloves, and I'm gonna go ahead and mash them up really good. And that's good, see? I'm gonna go ahead and add some water, and I'm gonna bring it all in together like this, see? 
Now this is what's gonna give our dish that beautiful, authentic taste. I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside and get started with our meat. I'm using pork shoulder butt, and I've cut up my pieces like this, as you can see. My Ron likes the pieces a little big. They're not real small, but they do shrink up a little bit. So here they are, ready, and I've got two and a half pounds. I've got some onion powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. I've got some garlic powder. I'm gonna put it in here. And this is that teaspoon mixture that I got out of my molcajete. All the spices, the cloves and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and add them in here too. And I'm gonna bring everything in together really good. Okay, so I've got my spices distributed really well. So now we're ready to go to the stove. So I'm gonna start out by searing my meat. Now I've got two cast iron skillets here. This one is deeper than this one. And the reason I've got two is because I don't wanna overcrowd my meat. Now I've got my heat set on medium high and I'm gonna wait until these two skillets are nice and hot before I put my meat in here. Now, as you can see, my cast iron skillets are smoking just a little bit because they're very hot. Now, I don't have any oil or anything in there because the meat is gonna release a lot of its own grease. So I'm gonna start by adding my meat. Now, you don't wanna overcrowd them because then they'll start to steam. That's why I use two of them. And that's good. And then I'm gonna put the rest over here on this other one. And that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and give them about four minutes so that they can get nice and brown before I flip them over to the other side. So it's been about three and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping them over to the other side. Just do the best you can. See? That's what I want. Now, as you can see, my pork meat has a beautiful sear. See? So now that I got them seared, I'm gonna turn this one off and I'm gonna put all my meat together. Just like this. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit and I'm gonna continue until they're all real nice and gold. So as you can see, my meat is starting to release a lot of its liquid, as you can see the bottom, see? I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat into place and I'm gonna place my lid on it. Lower the heat to medium and I'm gonna let it cook like that until all the water evaporates down to the bottom. So it's been 40 minutes and I can hear it that it's starting to sizzle and that's because it's been at a low steady simmer and all the liquid has evaporated. So now I'm ready to add my onions. I have cut them julienne style like this, see? I'm gonna go ahead and add them in here. Now you can dice your onions if you want, but I like to put them in like this because it gives the dish a lot of texture and I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of kosher salt, see? And I'm gonna give it a good stir. And I'm gonna wait until these onions get real nice and translucent. I'm gonna go ahead and add all these peppers that were chopped up, remember? I'm gonna put them in there. I'm gonna add my mixture from my morcajete. Just like that. And I'm gonna add all the mixture from the blender.
Oh my gosh, it smells so beautiful in here. Oh, this looks so good. See, I've got two bay leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and add them in there. You don't want it very watery, but you don't want it very dry either. If you need to add a little bit of chicken broth, you can go ahead and add a little bit at a time and be tasting it and make sure that the salt content is just right for you. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the lid and I'm gonna let it cook at a low steady simmer before I add my potatoes. My timer just went off. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this looks. I wish you could smell it in here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna put my potatoes in. I've got two medium gold potatoes. They hold their shape really well. That's why I like to use the gold ones. I'm just gonna stir them in there. And I'm gonna let them continue cooking at a low steady boil like that for about 20 to 25 minutes until my potatoes are nice and tender. See, we can get these bay leaves out. We don't need them anymore. Oh, look at this. See how wonderful that looks? Our potatoes are very tender and the meat is just falling apart. Oh man. Oh yeah. And I also made a pot of beans in my Ninja Foodie. And I didn't mash them because I like them like this. One of my flour tortillas. Mmm. Look at this, fit for a king. Mm. See? Mm. Super, super delicious. Mm. So this is my pork chile verde. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think and share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please do.